So you want to fuck your waifu? Well, that's too bad because she's not real. You're here because you want to virtually fuck your waifu in Artificial Academy 2. There's also a large chance you're just too goddamn lazy to actually read the written tutorial because watching a video online is a lot easier than trying to decipher some goddamn room rooms by yourself. So just uh, sit back and attempt to avoid touching your genitals for most of the video, cause here we go! Step one. Obtain the game. Now, if you're stupid, you'll try and find a way to actually buy the game from some online store. But for this tutorial, we're just going to borrow a copy of the game. Catch my drift. You get dwarfs because you torrent and BitTorrent are fucking shit. Step two. Extraction. Now after that, legal. Download is finished. You'll find a whole lot of what the fuck is that in a RAR file. It's really quite simple. Extract all three files labeled with .mdf to a folder either on your desktop or a location of your choosing. Doesn't matter. Now after that's done extracting, See, see that one file with the ping pong text? You can just rename that to something like disk1.mtf. I should mention again that this is not required. It'll still work the exact same whether or not you do this. Step 3. Mounting. If you don't already have some kind of virtual disk emulation software on your computer, I suggest you get Damien Tools. It's probably the most simple and best one out there. Damien Tools will allow you to virtually emulate a disk drive on your computer, giving you the ability to use those virtual disk or .mdf files. Simply drag and drop that disk one file into Damien Tools, double click, and mount that lewd disk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't auto run. Step 3.1. Up. Local. In order to properly install Japanese games, you need to run them in Japanese. App Local will add an extra set of contextual options when you right-click EXEs. When you're finished installing that software, it should add the option to run with Japanese locale to your right-click menu. Now instead, open that file that you just tried to mount in Damien Tools and look for a file called startup.exe. Run it in Japanese locale. Step 4. Installation. Oh no. Moon runes. It's okay. Just click the third button. This will bring you through a short installation process to install the character creator for Artificial Academy 2. Just try to closely follow the steps that I'm taking. I should also note here that I'm installing the maker in a location other than the default directory. And it's installed! C click F. Alright, more moon runes. Just click button 4. This is going to start installing the main game. So just go through the steps, and you can set your directory once again to whatever you want. Now, once you hit this screen of the installer, you're just gonna have to sit and wait for a bit. Uh-oh. Don't worry, that's not an error. It's just a pop-up telling you that you need to put the second disk in. Locate disk2.mdf in your extracted folder and mount it in Damien Tools. When this pops up, just close it. You don't have to worry about it. Then hit OK on the pop-up. Now it's installing all the files on the second disk. You're just going to have to follow these steps again for when there's another pop-up and you're going to need to use disk3.mtf. Just rinse and repeat, and soon the installation will be complete. Alright, now just remount disk1.mdf, run that shit in app local, and unzip your pants and get ready for... What? Uh, uh, what? Um... Uh-huh? Uh yeah! So, while the game does run at this point, it's it's mostly unplayable because you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. The game looks terrible, and I, 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 I can't even tell if that's a language. So this brings us to... Step 5! Downloadable content... Alright. You're going to have to download four separate DLC files from the links that I've provided in the description. 
three of them are .exes and one of them is a RAR file. After you've finished downloading all of the files, move them all into a folder. I put mine on my desktop and named it AA2DLC. Now create another folder and I put this one again on my desktop and I also named it AA2DLC Extract. Now inside of that folder, you need to create four new folders and give them names 1, 2, 3, and 4. Extract the contents of the DLCs in these respective orders into these folders. Extract jg2 underscore sou.exe into folder 1. Extract jg2 underscore ex underscore 0707.exe into folder 2. Extract the contents of the only RAR file in the DLCs into folder 3. And finally, extract jg2 underscore 03 underscore plus 6 into folder 4. Locate the installation folder where you installed Artificial Academy 2. Now open folder 1, double click that folder, and then click the folder with the shorter name. Inside that folder is a folder named Setup. And inside that folder are two folders named Edit and Main. Edit is the content for the maker, and main is the content for the main game. Drag the content of the data folder inside of the edit folder into the AA2 maker data folder that you created. Now do the same with the content inside of the main folder, and drag it into your Artificial Academy 2 data folder. You need to do this with every folder that contains a setup.exe. Don't run the setup.exe as I never got the files to install properly when I used it. Do this with every folder, one through four. Now folder four will have a second.exe in both the edit and the main folder. Replace all the files, including the exe located inside of your maker folder and inside of your Artificial Academy 2 folders, with the files located inside the fourth folder. Now, after you've extracted all of that content and placed it into the correct folders, you have properly installed all of the DLC for Artificial Academy 2. Step six. Modding. All right, I know what you're thinking. Why do I need to download mods? Well, sadly, this is going to be a requirement if you want to get proper translations at this point. And while you could have just used the English patcher provided by Hongfire to install translations, you would end up missing out on some DLC and end up with poor translations. So in order to run mods, you need to download the Illusion Wizard. This software works as a platform that will bridge your mods and your game files, and will also allow you to quickly add and delete mods with little to no hassle. All you have to do is extract the files from the .rar file, and then place them into a folder. For this case, I just named the folder Wizard, and placed it into my AA2 installation folder. Now start up the wizard by using the illusionwizard.exe located there. After it's started up, you should be gridded with this screen, and it should have already pre-selected the AA2 Play profile by default. If it hasn't, scroll down and find it, then hit start. Now you just need some mods. I'll list a couple of translation and uncensor mods that you'll more than likely want to use in the description and right here. After you've downloaded all the mods you want, installing them is easy. You just need to place the mods that you want to install inside of the AA2 Play Profile folder located in the wizard folder. Just drag and drop any mod you wish to install, then click refresh and apply the mod. After you're done installing all the mods that you want, the last thing you're going to need is a couple of exe files that will allow you to view the game launchers in English. These downloads listed here should work for the maker and the main game. And if all bodes well, then voila, it's time to masturbate.